when when ISIS was in the news more often, mm-hmm. it was kind of fascinating to watch. Uh, some European countries had, I don't want to say it was a problem, but they had young men and young women leaving to join ISIS. Yeah. From mm-hmm. f- formerly Catholic countries. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. And so the question was, well, why would any young man want to join ISIS? Right. And why would anyone, any young woman want to become a bri- an ISIS mm-hmm. bride? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. Yeah. Like, what, is, what is the alternative? Right? Well, it, well right. the yeah. thing is that ISIS yeah. presented itself as hyper-masculine. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, yeah. you know, you know you're going to get all the women, you're going to get all the gold, you're going to mm-hmm. get all the glory. Like, yep. you know, if at you the die very more, least, or like. At the very least, it's direction-oriented. Well, right, right, like right, we have a thing right. to conquer and come join right. us, as opposed to this kind of malaise, yeah. just kind of like everyone just. Well, that's exactly like, right. Yeah. Well, because you, yeah. you know, I, I'm certainly not <laughs> condoning anyone who joined ISIS, but you know, it's <laughs> just disclaimer. A disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, I, was I, was say, I just want to let you know, like, I don't, I'm not saying like you know, if you're looking for meaning, you should join <laughs> yeah, right. ISIS. You know, like, <laughs> link in the description. <laughs> right, right. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't get kicked off Twitter. I don't think. I think oh ISIS is, you know. No, so, no. <laughs> But you know, I guess if you know, if you're kind of yeah, you're you know a young man, you know whatever's kind of malaise, mm-hmm. and maybe you go to a Christian church and Jesus loves you, and everything's right. good, yep. and then but then you hear like this like strong message of be a martyr, yeah, like, yeah. be a warrior, yeah, that provides it's meaning. It's like whoa, yeah. that's kind of cool, you know. Well, like, and that's and that's like so countercultural from our uh, Western uh, like modern idea that like eat and drink for tomorrow we die. That's mm-hmm. essentially like the 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 slogan for, uh, you know, uh, the new atheists, yeah. right? Like, just get you know as much pleasure as you can. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing beyond uh, materiality, and and then you die. That's okay. Just accept that, right? Mm-hmm. And that idea that like, well, if like I, I'm made for comfort, but mm-hmm. the 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 response, like you were saying with the ISIS example, is just I think it's just that's a great proof for the existence of something transcendent, at least, right? Yeah, uh, and so. We we are really breaking out of that, like we're on the cusp of breaking out of this. Like I said, the 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 new atheist right. mindset. So yeah, yeah. I wanted to um, tie that in a little bit with like Achadia, and we'll get there in a second. But um, he made uh, Andrew Tate makes his point about masculinity and being uh, having to engage in men having to engage in conflict in mm-hmm. order to like keep your masculinity. Mm-hmm. Um, I was thinking about like you know, that's true in certain aspects, but then the nuance is that you don't actually have to go out and beat people up. Um, yeah, like, same. The good, that's yeah, good. That's the end. <laughs> yeah, Bye, yeah. everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but so, like, they're, they're, the culture allows for that aggression to be channeled. Like, that's why we have sports. Yeah, right. right. That's why we have, you know, MMA. That's, that's like, why we have competition. Mm-hmm. Competition is good. It, like, it directs the um, masculine energy to something, to build something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was thinking about the idea, um, like when I have a degree in exercise science, so obviously I'm not like dissing working out. <laughs> I was thinking about working out a while ago, um, like years and years ago. Like my initial like kind of scoff at it was, it seems odd that we like have all this technology and we have all this um, like cultural advancement and so that we don't have to work in the field. Mm-hmm. and lift boulders but then we go into air-conditioned rooms and lift heavy things mm-hmm. right like why you know so like mm-hmm. there's something about the, the point he's making he he makes this comment about culture at large is that it's making men soft and so i yeah. agree with that yeah. actually mm-hmm. yeah. um but we've had this discussion before but like the progress in technology and by technology i mean like any type of like progress so yeah. like even even books are a type of technology. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. Any movement, any advancement in that area gives you two options. You can either, like, so you don't have to till the field anymore, right? We have technology for that. So now you can either be intentional and pick up heavy loads intentionally, mm-hmm. or you can be a chadic. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like as yeah. you progress through technology, you have, like, you have more and more of a thin line you're walking on of having to be intentional with the responsibility you take on, you know, physically, mentally, what have you, be competitive, um, doing things to like engage with the masculine side of you. And that applies to women as well, or you get soft. Mm -hmm. Um, And so we're, we're seeing how the West and just, you know, progress in general globally is making people less engaged with things that are difficult. 
Yeah. Um, and so like, he's really, he's on something really true in that, like, we're not doing these things intentionally anymore and we should, yeah. mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean we need to go all the way back yeah. in this type of nostalgia of like, let's go have fights and let's start war. It's like, or yeah. not like, yeah. let's not do that, <laughs> but let's, let's figure out how we engage forward now into the right. future to engage the masculine yeah. instinct. Yeah. Well, and that's like this problem what you're describing, I think is, uh, a big problem in today's society is boredom, right? Yeah. And back then when you had to till the field and, you know, do all the yeah. traditional things, there was no time to be bored. Yeah, ain't right? nobody got time for boredom. Yeah, and so, like, right now we're, <laughs> like, coming up to this, like, what what do we do with our time, mm-hmm. right? Now that I have machines to do the heavy lifting, as yeah. it were, like, what do I do now? What do I right. do? Uh, and so that's, like, the, I mean... That's why we have millions of views on Andrew Tate, or you know, yeah. and, or or the, it's just people are like trying to fill up their time mm-hmm. uh, with what would have taken their time, right? With uh, some sort of answer, yeah. 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 But boredom is really a modern problem, and so to come up with like that—that's tying it again with that uh, deal of Achadia. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, is it now is your time for something else? Like, is it good, uh, or? You know, are you just going to be comfortable, you mm-hmm. know, and just um, appeal to your material uh, animal appetites? You know? Yeah, so. right. 